In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a schedule that will allow the staff to pick their schedule. Now, in this place of employment, there's three shifts, there's eight hour shifts, there's 10 hour shifts, and there's 12 hour shifts. And obviously, the days off um, vary with which shift you cap, which, you, which shift you select. Now, the caveat to this is that um, there has to be two people on each shift. And the other thing that they, they needed is they needed to make sure that every day working, there was at least two people working on each day. So what we're going to do is what we'll do is we'll click the first one and I'm going to select, um, I'm going to do eight hours for the first three and then I'm going to do 10 hours for the next three so we've got our minimum of two here. And so now we'll do 12 hours for the next two. I just have um, from data, data, data validation, I just have a list here. And I've got two, and then I'm gonna do the rest as eight. And so that is my total. Okay, so now let's run the schedule. And when it's complete, you see that there is days off and uh, days off and work schedule for all these different shifts that they've selected. And at the bottom, you can see they can see how many are working. And we have a minimum of two on every day, a minimum of two working in every day. So that would be this row here. And they definitely have two. And how I did that is I. I um, I offset their um, their start date now. So this is run for November, and so so the days off um, would be the same, but on different days of the week. So if we selected December, for example, here. So now um, now they have different days off. Uh, days of the week and it's just a matter of uh, luck of the draw either you get work all weekends or you work no weekends depending on the day that you select so let's let's go back and let's select October here and there you go that that is how you're changing your days off the grade days out or, or the Saturday and Sunday so let me show you the code how I did this And so I have it. Um, I have it going down by this column here, where they're selecting their shifts. And um, first, I have declared R as a row, um, R being row C and column as integers, R cell as range cell, dim R range as range. Um, I've set R equals uh, the first the first row, which is R five. And column two is where the shift schedules are, or the shift selections are located. Now, um, so I've just done some pretty simple if statements here. So I'm saying, if um, if they've selected an eight-hour shift, then we're going to offset it um, by one just to get it out of the the column for the shift schedule. We're going to start on the first day of the month. Now, um, if they've selected a ten hours then we're going to offset it by two and start it um, on the third working day of the month. Okay, and then for uh, the 12 hours, we're offsetting it by five. So they, they start working on um, the fifth working day of the month. So now, for each of these, I have um, little macros that I'm calling. So um, in each of these, I, I select where the active cell is going to be, and then I call another macro. So for here, it's calling 10 hour, 8 hour, 12 hour. Okay, so my 8 hour is um, a simple little thing where it's saying, so the active cell is what we selected with our little offset thing. And we're saying that we're going to select the range, 
So um, the active cell is going to equal W for working. And then the um, offset range or range we're going to select is one plus four, so that's five working days. And then we're selecting two two cell cells after that, so we have two blanks, so we can have off. And then I do exactly the same thing for all of the three um, all of the three different uh, shift selects. And now what I've done at the end here is I've gone through all of my cells. I've set this range. Um, being basically any working time on the sheet here. And I'm going for each cell. And if it's a blank cell, then you're going to put off because if they're not working, you're off. And so that is how you let people select their shifts and run a schedule. Please subscribe.